Good morning, Ripples. What a fantastic Friday it is. Whoop, whoop. I am joined today by Mr. Peters, and he has so many things to talk to you about today that I'm just going to sit here pretty and listen to him. First of all, we're going to talk about the cafeteria. The ca You guys have been doing a great job in the cafeteria. Just a couple reminders when you're in there. Um, you sit, you put your legs underneath the table. You're not turned around with your feet in the aisle because we are moving around trying to help you up throughout the lunch period, and you don't want to accidentally trip one of us. We're, we're, we're getting up there in age. We might break a hip or something. I, don't, I know you don't want that on your conscience. The other thing is we don't touch other people's food. We don't touch other people's plates. We don't get up without raising our hand, even if it's to the snack bar. We are there to assist you. If you need another food item, raise your hand, and we will go get it for you. We are here for you, but we do need for you to act on your best behavior. Also, Miss. Mrs. Edward would like to talk about the sharing table. Mr. Peters doesn't know what the sharing table is, so I'm <laughs> going to explain that to you. The sharing table is a table where if you're not going to eat your food, you have the opportunity to share it with students that are hungry and would like to have that food. So that's that little cart that we push around, but just know that don't wait for us to push it around. If you know that there's items that you're not going to be eating and you haven't opened, you can either place them on the sharing table yourself as you exit the line, or you can raise your hand and we can put it on there. It's called a sharing table because that is indeed what it is. If I am not going to eat the fruit cup, then I'm going to put it on the table for somebody like you, Mr. Peters, who likes the fruit cup and would like to have it. That way we're not just throwing away food and yeah. it's very, very wasteful. We have lots of students that are hungry and we want to be able to uh, share the food that we're not going to eat. We have a okay? lot of growing boys and girls that yes, like we do. to have a couple of milks or some more fruit. I have mm -hmm. a young man that I know he asked me for apples every day, yep. so he really loves apples. Or an extra slice of pizza or a chicken sandwich, anything that you have not opened can be placed on the sharing table. So I want to thank you for that. Okay, Mr. Peters. The next thing I want to talk to you about, something that's very important to, uh, to both of us and, and the administrative team and the school, are our drills, our fire drills and mm -hmm. lockdown drills, especially lockdown drills. Boys and girls, if you happen to be in the hallway during a lockdown drill, you and that you can't get into a classroom door, you have to go to the restrooms that are open. If something happens on this campus and the Sheriff's Department or Fort Myers Police Department is here to clear the buildings, that'll be the first area they check to get you to be able to put you in a safe location. Remember that. Do not just stand in the hallway next to your classroom door. Teachers, please remind the students of this very important, uh, very important information. Students, if you're wondering, well, will anybody know that I'm in the bathroom? The answer is yes, because if you're not in the classroom, your teacher is going to email the front office, and we are going to make the assumption that you have made it either into a neighboring classroom or into the bathroom. So you will be the first people that we are looking for in the event we have an incident and the police have to come and evacuate us couple of the teachers, when I opened up some classroom doors, a couple of the students were not taking these drills seriously. And that really, really concerns me because this is real life stuff here. I heard one teacher give a little motivational speech to her class about how important these uh, evacuation drills are, lockdown drills are. So please take them seriously. Please take them seriously. Thank you. That would be Mr. Peterson calling for Mr. Peters during the morning news. So let's see. The only other thing that we have on our agenda here to talk to you guys about is this. Students, it is so important that you keep your hands and feet to yourself. We learned that in kindergarten, and for some reason, I keep seeing students putting their hands on each other. And guys, that's how, that's how fights start. That's how disagreements start. That's how conflicts start. You are in school to learn. That's your job. It's about the language and actions of employment. And very basically, that means that you have to keep your hands and feet to yourself. Okay, Mr. Peters, I have said more than I anticipated. I have one more thing. Okay. We both want to say thank you to all the boys and girls and FMMA scholars that come to school to learn every day. Mm -hmm. And then when someone says hello to them, they say hello back. When they say good morning, they say good morning back. And they come to school to learn each and every day. We've been through some classrooms. We've had some students with causing some disruptions. Unfortunately, 
they were removed from class. We want you all in class. However, if you are disrupting the learning environment of others, you will be removed from class. Absolutely, without question. All right, students, staff, teachers, let's have a fabulous Friday. And remember to ride, ride the, the wave. wave. And don't fall off. <laughs>